Guys, we're going to the thrift store and I have my new mic. I'm really excited. Welcome everyone. Hopefully you can all finally hear me now. The rattling of the cart, uh, that's something I can't fix, but we are here. I don't know what I'm looking for today. I kind of just wanted to come here today because I need a little break from my true crime content that I've been working on because the cases are really heavy and thrifting is a good way to decompress. So here we are. I also wanted to try out this microphone and see how well it works. So busy in here, I don't know where I want to start. Maybe we can start with home decor, just to make it easy. See if we can find any goodies. Made in Poland. This is kind of cool. I really like this. So also an entire set of these yellow plates. You like yellow. It's actually really cute. I don't know if they're really my style. They're made in England. They're also $1.99 each, so I don't know about that. So cute, it's a little wicker heart. Oh, these are for, they're so little. Like for the dollhouse. Little medaling cups, it's kind of cool set. Little Nova Scotia cup. Okay, this little cup is so precious for a Christmas present. All the dogs and cats on it, I kind of want it. I've been trying to get down this aisle for like the last five minutes. It's so busy. <laughs> this little cup is cute. I like the shape. Little flower pot. Like little dainty flower glasses. I don't know what I do with any of these though. It's the milk and the cream and the sugar. I'm not a fan of this orange glass. I don't know. I'm indecisive. I'm very indecisive. I feel like if I'm being indecisive, I probably shouldn't get something. Okay, let's head over to the blanket section and see if there's anything there for the blankets. I swear I had seen something earlier over here, but I couldn't get in here because it was so, it's so busy today. I've never seen it this busy, I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't even this busy on Black Friday. I don't see the blanket anymore, it's a sad. It was over here. and I don't see it anymore. I probably should have just squeezed my own way in here. Take the loss, I'll take the loss, I guess. I did find this, is this a blanket? It's a tablecloth. Okay, why is this kind of cute? It's giving like cute picnic vibes. There's a stain on it that I don't know if it'll come out, which is probably why someone donated it, but it is pretty, it's a pretty fabric. I've kind of officially migrated into the men's section. These boots would be really pretty, and they're lined if they were my size, but no, they're too big as everything is, or too small. Can never find my size in women's or men's section of shoes. I've been on the hunt for some black or brown loafers. Can't find them. I like this little Amazon Essential shirt. It's also $9. What do we think? Hello. So many gray ones. I don't know why I find so much gray. Like every, I want to find some white button ups and I cannot for the life of me find any. I don't know what this is, but it looks like it was shrunk, but this is, it would be cute if it was my size and it wasn't shrunk. This little blue long sleeve, what is it, a Gildan? No, never mind. there's writing on the arm. <laughs> Everything I like from the back and then I pull it forward and I'm like, mm, no. I don't know what I like about this. I don't like it. This little light blue for next kind of cute. Shirts are $9. I'm like, it's literally just a basic black long sleeve. If you're into the polo trend. Okay, we need to move on. I often find Roots sweatpants in this location for some reason. Not a Ritzy though, I find a Ritzy at the other store. There's a few really cute knits here. I think this green one's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Marie Merkley, although I don't know if that was in my head. This is so cute that look at it. This doesn't have a price though. This is hilarious. The fact that they're selling a Zara jacket for $60. Hilarious. <laughs> Nothing. There's a really cute little watch in there. I'm really curious about it. These jeans look really cool. What are these? 
Seasons jeans wear. Made in Canada. Are they vintage? They look like they're maybe vintage. Like the tag is really old. There's so many Levi's in here, but they're all like skinny cut. These are too big. I think these are all gonna be too big on me. Okay. One of my favorite section, which is the men's jackets and sweaters. I feel like, I don't know, the men's section is just usually better. This old navy jacket has been here for so long because it's $30. I don't know what they're smoking here sometimes. Okay, but how fun is this sweater? I'm not a fan of purple, but it's so fun. It's LL Bean. Very Christmassy looking sweater. I might put it in the cart. It's in beautiful condition. Bright red fleece. Not really my style. So I have a beige one of these, but this is a red version. I have enough red right now. <laughs> Considering I don't really like red, I have enough red. Let's see if I can find any pants to exchange the ones that I'm returning today. See, these would be so cool. Everything I find is not my size. Like, these are so dope. There's literally a lady trauma dumping to the security right next to me and me coming here to de-stress from true crime. <laughs> Someone talking about their loved one dying. <sighs> Can't escape it. <laughs> Can't escape it. Infinite khakis. My black khakis just ripped on me so i'm wondering if i should replace them they are nice khakis i might throw them in the basket mm -hmm. these pants feel like pajamas these are kind of fun they look like they're wide legs might try them on my really pants are just something i have a really hard time finding and liking okay let me quickly check this shirt section here these are kind of nice cords but they're, I don't think they'd fit me. They look too small. It would've been cool though. I don't need more sweaters, but like, look how, look how cute this is. We'll put it in, we'll put it in. I do need new tank tops is what I'm looking for, but it seems to be hard to find. Oh, this is the first thing I grab. This is an old navy sweater, but look at how, look how cool this is. Kind of feels like it wasn't washed properly, but it is merino wool. Old Navy doing merino wool, that's different. Might put it in the cart. Okay, this is something I've been looking for. This looks just like my red one I just thrifted. I'm gonna have to try it on. It's another cardigan, try that on too. Okay, I'm gonna start in women's jackets in this section because it's just less busy. It is a little crazy in here. Like no one's moving. <laughs> like even if you say excuse me, it's just, it's just uh, one of those days. This looks like something that free people would sell but there's no tags on it. Like more gray thermal. And then when I find white, it has to have something printed on it. It's kind of cute. Found this light blue Hudson North Pupper. It's on sale for $16. I used to see these for 50 at the other thrift store that I go to. Looks like a Ritzia one, but it's dynamite. I think I had one like this and I didn't like it. I feel like I hardly ever look in this section. It's like women's athletic wear. Champions. I don't need it, but cool fine. <coughs> Aloe fitness. These are kind of cute. Light blue. They're old navy. I don't really have any leggings anymore, so I've been looking. Ooh, see these are airy. These are my favorite, but I don't like the red. It'd be nice to find the like black ones. Okay, finally got some room here in the jackets. <laughs> there was a break in traffic. Found this. Don't love it, don't hate it. This is actually a cool find. It's not my style, but it's like a lined jean jacket, so you could wear it in the fall. This pink jacket is so cute. I wouldn't have anywhere to wear it though. But it's adorable. I kind of want to try it on. I couldn't wear anything like properly under it. This sweater doesn't fit under it. The screen jacket's kind of cool too. Don't know what brand this is. What's it here? Hillary Radley. I'm gonna look over here now. See if there's any basics that catch my eye. 
Which is cute, but it's very tiny. It's like an extra small. Look how cute this would have been. You see the little buttons? Let's move on. Let's go to the women's sweaters after this and see if we can find anything. A little airy button up. This Eddie Bauer. Okay, this looks so cozy. 100% wool. This is so pretty. But there is a few holes in it here. So it might be a no. Let's see if I can show you. Like there, there's holes. I might just want to try it on. Might do that. I've seen this little TNA green shirt. How precious. This is such a precious little piece. Well, we'll try it. It's gonna be nice for summer. Everyone always finds so many cute, like, Christmassy sweaters. And this is what I find. But I want to get going, because it's getting a little late. And I want to show you all what I got when I get home before it gets dark. So we need to power through this. Joe Fresh has had so many cool things, but their material is not the nicest. Oh, another cute little, little knit. This one's like a short sleeve one though. I kind of like this. It's like a zip up. Little airy sweater. $3.99, why is it so cheap? It's kind of cute though, I like the color. I'm gonna try it on. My pile is humongous. I need to figure out what I want to take and what I don't want to take. Like, look at this thing. It's huge. Okay, I found a mirror to try things on. <laughs> so dusty. Their material is so soft. Will it last though? I don't know, but it's also $3.99. Okay, I put the button on the top. I feel like this would be really cute for the summer. I do like it. I think it's supposed to be like more fitted, which is fine. It's just not something I'm used to. I'm trying to branch out. As much as I wanted to like this one, it has no tags, which is fine but it feels extremely cheap like the buttons they're made out of like a plastic like very cheap plastic like this feels like it's definitely like a Shein kind of thing which I don't really want this one I don't know about it really reminds me of free people it kind of looks like a jacket though I don't really know what it's supposed to be like it's so long like it's obviously like a cardigan but I don't know how you'd properly wear it. Maybe just like this. I think I'm gonna put this one back because just, I don't know. The sweater is very exciting. It's literally the most Pinterest sweater ever. <laughs> it's just like so oversized, I love that. And it's something that I normally wouldn't gravitate towards like this patterny kind of sweater. I'm not really a pattern girl, but it's different. And it's so Pinterest, <laughs> is it? to Pinterest though. It's open for it. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in my keep, I think. I wish so badly that the sweater didn't have these little holes because it's so cute, but I don't think I should keep something that has holes, you know? It's only those two little holes though. <laughs> Me trying to talk myself into buying this. It's just like so baggy and I love the V, but I really just find myself the most perfect fit cardigan. I've been looking for this. I think it's cute. Okay, this is the short version. I like them both. They're both 100% cotton as well, and they're both in really good condition. I'm trying to think, it's it's not exactly what I wanted because the one I seen on Pinterest was baggier, but like it was more boxy where this is like goes in. I think I'm gonna keep them. It's old navy, but it's 100% wool. There is a little rip here. This one reminds me of um, my chaps one that I have. As much as I want to love this because it's. LLB and it's only five dollars it feels so nice it's just not my style I don't think I don't think it's my style if it wasn't purple if it was a different color maybe but I'm just not a purple girl I'm trying to decide if I should keep all this stuff because I have a lot of things here <laughs> okay I'm gonna go check out and I'll see you all back at home when I tell you we did damage we did damage <laughs> But I'm gonna be honest, we didn't end up spending like an insane amount of money. Right as I go to film, they started like unloading a car right outside of my building. I guess we're gonna see how good this microphone is because there's like a huge tow truck out there. This is the longest receipt I've ever gotten from the thrift store. Um, let's see, we ended up spending $86.90 and I'm gonna show you all of the stuff I got 
for that price. I did end up returning two pairs of pants. So in girl math, I ended up saving about $16. So this bill would have been almost $100 then. But because I returned two items, it was like a discount. You know what I mean? But let's get into all of the items I got for under $100. I'll just say that. The first thing I ended up getting was this pot. So I am trying to collect items for my future old cheap house. And this cast iron pot was just so perfect. I'm trying to build up a collection of really pretty pots, but not just pretty aesthetic pots and kitchenware, but things, sorry, this is so loud, but things that will be functional. And the fact that this is a cast iron pot and it looks like it was well loved, there's obviously some imperfections on the bottom and inside, I think it needs some barkeeper's friend or like a magic eraser or something. I'm gonna try to clean this up. Maybe we'll do it for a TikTok or a vlog or something, but it's such a pretty orange pot and it says it's made in Poland on the bottom. So can't go wrong with that. And the pot was $14.99. I have another pot that I still haven't shown you all. I made a reel of those items if you wanna go watch that. But the other pot I also got was about $14.99 and I think that's kind of just the general price for items like this at the thrift store. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then the second home good item that I got, I didn't honestly find that many things in home goods. I, I need to go to some bigger thrift stores and like really look for home goods. Um, I wanna do that for like a whole separate thing one day. But I ended up getting the most precious little mug it's just so freaking cute it has little puppies and kittens on it and i thought maybe i could gift this to like my dad for christmas or something or just keep it for myself i'm not a warm drink lover but i'm trying to collect and build up just some cute little mugs and stuff maybe if someone wants a hot chocolate or like a hot coffee when they come over little mug was 2.99 but those are the only two home goods i got and everything else i got was clothing and I feel like I got a good deal on all this stuff because I have two full bags full and most of them are bulky sweaters, which I said I wasn't gonna buy more sweaters, but I couldn't pass the stuff up. And also I'm trying to like curate certain sweaters for my closet. Like I wanna replace stuff like this that isn't good material. I don't think I found something like this today, but I found some alternatives, I will say. So first up is this airy sweater. I don't have anything that's really pink and pink is one of my favorite colors. And this airy sweater is just in perfect condition still. Do I wish it was a little more oversized? Yes, I do. But honestly, airy stuff is already really oversized. So the fact that this is an extra small and it fits me like not tight at all, it says something about airy. But I thought this was just a nice little piece. I don't think it's cotton. Let me see. Oh, it's 53% cotton and the rest is polyester. So it's at least half cotton, so it's not the worst, which is probably why it is soft. But the fact that it was only $3.99, I couldn't pass it up because Aerie stuff is getting pretty pricey and it's something I don't have in my wardrobe, so. I said I wasn't going to get this sweater, but I did. And I got it because I just really like the fits. But let me know if I should return it. It's like a beige gray color, but I just love how baggy the sleeves are on it and just, it's kind of like a boxy fit. It was $7.99, it's from the brand TLC by Lambert. It's 100% cotton, so I wouldn't have kept it if it wasn't. I just really liked the style of it and I thought it'd be something that could last in my closet for a very long time. But let me know if I should keep this or return this. I just think it's a nice piece. And then this, sweater I ended up getting, I realized also has some imperfections. So I'm kind of sad about it here. There's like holes in the sweater. And also I seen on the sleeve in store that there was a little bit of a hole in the sweater. Um, but they're not very noticeable. I'm wondering if whoever owned this sweater owned the other sweater because the holes are very similar. And I'm wondering if they had a dog or something that like jumped onto the sweater, that... but they're not huge. It's like not completely through the fabric, but this sweater is shockingly from Old Navy and it's 100% wool, which again, it's just shocking to me because I didn't know Old Navy sold wool items. I also really love it because the pattern goes across the back and I see so many sweaters that don't do that. I don't know why the companies don't do the pattern across like all the way and it feels cheap when it's not all the way around in my opinion. Like when it's just on the front, it feels like they just like slapped a basic back on a shirt. And I don't know if I said, but it was $7.99 as well, which seems to be kind of the average price, $7.99 to like $12.99, I feel like are the prices for all the sweaters at this thrift store. But it's just such 
a beautiful piece. Now I ended up getting the other one as well that I said I shouldn't get. It was $9.99 and I asked if they gave any discount for like imperfections or holes in a sweater and they said no. So I got it anyways, but let me know if maybe I should return it. But it was $9.99 and it's a Eddie Bauer 100% wool sweater as well. This one was made in Hong Kong, which I thought was cool. And it's like the perfect little V-neck, which I've been looking for. And it's also super long. Like I could almost wear this as a dress <laughs> if I wanted to. Let me know if I'm crazy for buying this <laughs> because it has holes in it and the same with this one. But these two sweaters I think are going to last in my wardrobe for hopefully the rest of my life. They're just so beautiful. Okay, the stuff I have on the top of this bag is pants. So let's just talk about these pants. I don't know if these fit me, so we're gonna have to try these on. These are from the, I don't know what the brand is of these. Infinity Classics 55% cotton. So these aren't 100% cotton, shockingly. They're $7.99 and they're like a blue black khaki. Let's try these on and see if they fit. Okay, I can't see how these actually look, but they do fit me. I need new work pants. So these might be my new work pants and they're just very, very light. I do like these. These are the other pair that I ended up getting. Okay, these are a little bit too big on the waist for me. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're too big on the waist. But I'm wondering if I had a belt or if I had them taken in in the waist, if I would really like them. These pants were also $7.99 and they're from the brand. I'm gonna be honest, I don't see a brand, but they're 100% cotton. My dream cardigans. I think this one's navy blue and this one's black. They might both be navy blue. I can't really tell. They're dark either way, dark color cardigans. And I bought two because one is short and one is longer. And they were also only $4.99 each, which is shocking to me. Don't know why they were so cheap because there is not one imperfection on them. And then the other sweaters I got, which had some holes in them were $10 each. Don't know. I don't really understand how Salvation Army prices their stuff. It just confuses me, but I will take the deal because I essentially got a two for one sweater then in that case. And that is also girl bad. So I ended up getting the short version of it. And I really love the little pockets on the front of them. And then I got this longer one. You see me try all these on in the store. Yeah, so then I got the longer one as well. And it also has some really cute little pockets on it. I got these because I had some Pinterest photos and I didn't have a dark colored card again. And now I have two options, which are both 100% cotton. I think they're gonna last my wardrobe for a very long time because they're just basics, which is really nice. And that's kind of what I have been looking for is more basic stuff. I say that, but then I also got the most insane Pinterest sweater of the year. This thing has been so popular for so long. I feel like this, checker pattern and I've never owned it. I've never had it. I've never tried it on before. This is a Oak and Fort sweater, which is a pretty pricey brand, but from what I see, the quality of their stuff isn't the best, but it was only $9.99. And for a like baggy oversized, more trendy piece, I don't know. I guess it is a more trendy piece. It looks like it has been worn quite a bit. The quality of it kind of reminds me of this sweater, but not as bad. But I feel like it's something that I'm not gonna wear super often just because it is kind of crazy. I think it'll, last my wardrobe for quite a long time. Um, and also I think it's just something fun and considering how many basics I own, I don't own any patterns really. And the fact that it's so oversized and I, I think it would just be so cute too to wear like in videos and stuff, just add some color. Everything in my apartment is so bland right now that I want some color in my clothing. Okay, this is some stuff I didn't show you all that I found. I, th I think I showed these while I was looking and they are, what brand and they're old navy activewear leggings these were 4.99 so my microphone ended up not working for this clip for some reason so here i am with a voiceover i was basically just explaining how i could wear these leggings with that sweater possibly and how there's tons of photos i've saved on pinterest of outfits with leggings as a base i also ended up finding this black pair of leggings they're new balance leggings and what i really liked about these was that they're a straight leg and i've never owned straight leg leggings before. I've only ever had like the classic fitted leggings. So I thought these were something different. I also don't have any black leggings right now because all of my leggings were just worn out. So I threw them away. Um, and I'm pretty sure those leggings were $7.99 or $8.99. And then the last thing I ended up getting was that little knit crocheted sweater that I thought would be really cute for the summertime. I feel like it's definitely a piece that could last in a closet for a long time and it's just super lightweight. So it'd be nice to just throw on as a layering piece in the summer with maybe dresses or something like that, but it's in perfect condition. So I didn't want to pass it up. 
But yeah, let me know if you think I should keep those sweaters that had the holes in them because honestly, I feel like they're not that noticeable and if I take care of the sweaters, the holes aren't gonna get bigger. Or if you think I should just return them, that it was a dumb purchase. But yeah, at the end of here, I was basically just explaining how I want to do more home decor shopping and I wanna go to some bigger stores that have more home decor items. I was also explaining how I possibly wanna do a series where I redecorate my entire apartment because I've never actually done that and I have a lot of design ideas. So let me know if you wanna see that and I hope you have a great day. If you go thrifting, good luck. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.